Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello students, we are teachers Che Kribo T.K. Solomon and Mr. Aaron T. Bala of Rising Academies. This is the Rising Youth Movement Partnership for the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Lesson number 11, showing numbers with more than nine tens and ones. For today's lesson, we will be able to represent more than nine ones as tens. We write tens as ones. While we listen to these COVID-19 health tips, Please take out your pencil, pen, copy books, and get ready for today's lesson. Again, welcome. Let's learn. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problem, kidney failure, or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath. Call your doctor. Welcome back, students. Hello. I hope you are feeling good and ready to learn more about numbers. Today and over the next several lessons, we will be working with three-digit numbers. Each day, we will do five activities. Our first activity will be a mindful moment to get our brain settled and ready to learn. Our second activity will be a number warm-up to practice our counting skills. Our third activity will be a number workout to work on breaking apart numbers. Our fourth activity will be a brain break to rest and reset ourselves. The last one, which is our fifth activity, will be a challenge problem to apply what we have learned. For today's class, you will need paper, a pencil, your 100 bundles, 10 sticks, and one scanter. It's okay if you don't have all these things. You can still participate in our lesson today. Please gather the materials you need. You will also need to ask someone in your house to be your special partner today. Please ask them to get ready now, we will now join teacher Aaron for our first activity. Thank you, teacher Kubo. Every day, we will start with a calming mindful movement to get our brains ready to learn. When we are mindful, we are aware of our bodies, our feelings, and our thoughts in the presence of movement. Today, we will do a deep breathing exercise. Are you ready? Great. First, I want you to sit up and close your eyes. We are going to take 10 deep breaths together. You will put your hands on your belly so you can feel your breathing. You will put your hands on your heart to feel it beating. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. I will count for us while we breathe. I want you to keep your eyes closed. Let's start. Breathe in deeply through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in deeply through your nose and out your mouth. Breathe in deeply 
through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in deeply through your nose and out through your Breathe in deeply through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in deeply through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in deeply through your nose and out through your mouth. Great! Next, we will warm up our bodies and brains with an activity called Count and Move. Did you know that moving your body can help improve your memory? We are going to do a number of movements. And as we do, we will practice skip counting. Let's start with step counting our trees all the way to Tahiti. I will go first. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Okay, your turn. As you count, I want you to run in place. Ready? Go. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Great job! Let's do threes again. This time, I want you to do a squat each time you count. Ready? Go! Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Excellent. We are going to do threes one more time. This time, I want you to hop in place. Ready? Go. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. Wow! You did such a great job counting by trees. Let's try counting by tens now. Counting from ten all the way. Two, one hundred. I will go first. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Okay, your turn. Our next exercise is elbow to knee. As you count, I want you to touch your elbow to your opposite knee each time. For example, start by standing on your right foot and bringing your left knee up to meet your right elbow. You will switch when you count the next number. Are you ready? Go. 10, 10 20. 20. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Wow, nice work. Now we are going to do our things again with popcorn pops. For each count, you are going to start with your hands on your bent knees. Then you will jump up and stretch out your arms and legs in the air. Get ready. Go. Ten, twenty, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, let's do our things one more time. Our final exercise will be a plank. I want you to get into a push-up position with your belly off the floor and your hips lined up with your back. I want you to hold there. Great. Ready? Go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow. You are so strong with your body and your mind. If you work it out and practice, it will only get stronger each day. Let's move on to our number workout. We will now join Teacher Kubo for our number workout activity. Before we do that activity, let's join Teacher Kubo for a short message. You are listening to the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. This is your lower basic primary math level 2 for grade 3 to 4, and we are your teachers. Great job warming up your brain. Now that our bodies and brains are all warm up, let's start our normal workout. I want you to listen carefully to this problem. I will say it twice. There are 18 players on the basketball team. What is the total number of fingers of all the players? I repeat. There are 18 players on the basketball team. What is the total number of fingers of all the players? Student, try your best to figure out how many fingers there are in total. You may use your sticks and counters or pencils and paper. Talk through your idea with your partner. Ready? Go. Teacher. Yes. Hmm. I'm a little stuck. I'm trying to use my 10 sticks because I know each player has 10 fingers, but I don't have enough sticks. Will you draw little sticks on your paper? Then you will have enough. Why aren't you drawing pictures of people with 10 fingers? Hmm, I think drawing stick is faster. Great idea. Listeners, if you don't have enough sticks, you can draw a picture to help you figure it out. Okay, it's time for us to share our thoughts. Yes, teacher. I drew 18 sticks to represent 18 players with 10 fingers each. Then, I skip counted by tens until I got to 180. Wow. Let's check that. Listeners, if you haven't done so already, draw 18 10 sticks on your paper to represent 18 players with 10 fingers each. Okay, let's keep count by tens. Ready? Go. 10, 10 20, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. Great. How many total fingers do the basketball team have? Hmm. The basketball team has 180 total fingers. Great. So, listeners, how many total fingers 
does the basketball team have? Yes, teacher. I did something different too. Okay, please share what you did. I also made 18 10 sticks to represent 18 players with 10 fingers each. Then I circled 10 of the 10 sticks because I know that 10 tens equal 100. Wow, listeners, 10 tens equal what? Good. 10 tens equals 100. Okay, teacher. After I bundle up 10 tens, I had 8 tens left, which equals 80. So, I know the total is 180. Great work. Listeners, explain to your partner how cycling 10 10 sticks help student Aaron to solve the problem. Okay, one more time. How many total fingers does the basketball team have? Great work. Students, let's try another one. Represent the number 14 using only one. Okay, students. Let's try another one. Represent the number 14 using only ones. If you have counters, you can use those. If you don't have enough, you can draw pictures of dots on your paper. Explain your work to your partner when you are finished. Ready? Go! Great work! Okay, let's share how you solve the problem? Um, I counted out my ones counter until I got to 14. I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 counters. That equal to 14. I also did something different again. I started with one ten sticks and four ones counters. Then I exchanged the one ten stick for ten ones counters. Then I added all of them together to get 14. Great idea, great work. Before we could have represented 14 with 110 sticks and 4 ones counters, we also know that we can represent that number with 14 ones counters. Okay, students, let's try one more. Represent the number 204 using only tens and ones. I will repeat, represent the number 204 using only tens and ones. If you have 10 sticks and ones counters, you can use those. If you don't have enough, you can draw pictures of small 10 sticks and one dots on your paper. Ready? Go. Great work. Let's share how you solve the problem. Yes, teacher. I want to share. I started by counting out four ones counters because 204 has a four in the ones place. After that, I counted by tens until I got to 204. Wow. Listeners, let's count up to. Listeners, let's count up by tens from four to two hundred four. Stand up and move if you like. You will run in place, hop, or do jumping jacks. Ready? Go. Four, four 
Four, one hundred eighty-four, one hundred seventy-four, one hundred eighty-four, one hundred seventy-four, one hundred eighty-four, one hundred seventy-four, one hundred eighty-four, one hundred four. Great job, students. Oh, teacher, I thought about it a little differently again. Since I knew that ten tens equal to one hundred, I know that twenty tens. Would be equal to two hundred. So I drew twenty tens. Then I drew four more ones counters to make two hundred four. Wow! So, listeners, did you catch what student Aaron said? What does ten tens make? Yes, one hundred. You are right. So what does twenty tens make? Excellent. Ten tens makes one hundred. Twenty tens makes two hundred. Okay, let's review what we have learned. What did we learn about how we can represent numbers with hundreds, tens, and ones? Yes, teacher. We learned that. We can represent numbers in different ways using hundreds, tens, and ones. We can make two hundred four with two hundreds and four ones, and we can make two hundred four with twenty tens and four ones, because ten tens make one hundred, and twenty tens makes. Two hundred. Great, listeners. Share what you have learned with your partner. Wow! Thank you so much, Teacher Kribo. Students, you have been working so hard doing our number work out activity. Let's give our brain a break. We are going to do a five second shake down. We start by shaking our right hand five times. Then we shake our left hand five times. Then we shake our right foot five times. Lastly, we will shake our left foot five times. After we have done that, then we will go. To our right hand, this time shaking it four times. Then we keep going until we shake each limb one time. When we finish shaking one time, we say five seconds shake down. Everyone, I want you to stand up. Get your body ready to shake. Are you ready? Go. The right hand first. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Left hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Right foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. We are going to shake again. We starting with our right hand. Four, three, two, one. Left hand. Four, three, two, one. Right foot. Four, three, two, one. Left foot. Four, three, two, one. Great job. We are going to shake again. Starting with three. Right hand. Three. Two, one. Left hand. Three, two, one. Right foot. Three, two, one. Left foot. Three, two, one. Great job. 
we are going to shake starting from two. Right hand, two, one. Left hand, two, one. Right foot, two, one. Left foot, two, one. Great job. Now we are going to count now, starting with one. Right hand, one. Left hand, one. Right foot, one. Left foot, one. Great job. Everyone say five seconds shake down together. Five, five seconds, seconds shake, shake down. down. Great. Wasn't it nice to move your body for a bit? Now, let's apply what we have learned today. Before we close, we are going to review our work on recognizing number patterns. You are going to hear a few numbers in an order or sequence. And your job is to figure out the rule in the sequence. Ask yourself, how are the numbers changing from one number to the next? Ready? Let's try the first one. 35, 40, 45, 50. Hmm, let's see. When I look at 35 to 40, I saw an increase of 5. Then, 40 to 45, showing another increase of 5. This tells me the rule of the pattern is add 5. If I add 5 to 50, I get 55. 55 in expanded form is 50 plus 5. Nice work. Let's try another one. 30, 40, 50, 60. I know this one too. When I look at 30 to 40, I saw an increase of 10. 40 to 50 shows another increase of 10. This tells me the rule of the pattern is I to 10. If I add 10 to 60, I get 70. That's right. Well done, students. Let's join Teacher Kubo for our closing. Thank you, Teacher Aaron. Well, that's it for our lesson today. Great work growing your brain. Let's go over the homework from our previous lesson. You were given two true or false statement. Here's the first one. True or false. Five hundreds, two ones, and four tens is less than 781. I repeat. Five hundreds, two ones, and four tens is less than 781. True or false? Um, I know that statement is true. I know. Five hundreds, two ones, and four tens is equal to 542. With a five in the hundreds place, and four in the tens place, and a two in the ones place. I know that 542 is less than 781 because 500 is less than 700. Great work. The second one. True or false. 300 plus 90 plus 7 is greater than 397. True or false? Hmm. This one, I know the statement is false. 300 plus 90 plus 7 will be equal to 397. 
Wow. Great work. Well, listeners, how did you do? If you make a mistake, don't get discouraged. Keep working hard and your brain will continue to grow. For today's assignment, there are two numerous patterns for you to think about. Figure out the rule and find the next three numbers in the sequence. Remember to ask yourself, how are the numbers changing from one number to the next? Again, for today's assignment, there are two number patterns for you to think about. Figure out the rule and find the next three numbers in sequence. Remember to ask yourself, how are the numbers changing from one number to the next? Ready? Here is the first number sequence. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Again, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay, students. Here is the next number sequence to think about before the next class. 25, 30, 35, 40. Again, 25, 30, 35, 40. In our next lesson, we will be thinking more about our additional and subtraction fights. Thank you for listening. Take out your pencil, pen, and write down the list of the following radio station that will help you to listen to more of this lesson. Troop FM 96.1 ELBC 99.9 ELUM 98.7 Hot FM 107.9 Cool FM 91.9 Equas Radio 91.5 Kings FM 88.5 Freedom FM 87.9 OK FM 99.5 SETI FM 90.2 You can also follow us on community radio stations across the country. Ministry of Education Facebook page at Ministry of Education dash Liberia or on the Ministry of Education website www moe-liberia.org Boys and girls, if you have any questions on today's lesson, you can kindly send them through this number 0555 Again, if you have any questions on today's lesson, you can kindly send them through this number, 0555 Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for that helpful reminder. Boys and girls, that is the end of our class today. We are so happy that you were here with us. We hope to talk to you again soon. Goodbye from me, J. Kubo T. K. Solomon. And goodbye from me, Mr. Aaron T. Bala. Amen.